Le Quang Liem and Maxime Vachier Legrave at six points going into the penultimate round at the Gibraltar Masters. Liem joins us to talk about his game. Uh, Liam, you drew with Maxime. It seemed harmless for him from the very start. Are you satisfied with the result? Yeah, in general, I think we play a good game. I try to test uh, him in the Grunfen, which is his pet opening, and uh, it's not a very easy thing to do. Um, I think I got something. Um, the position was interesting, and at some point it was a point up, so he had to play some accurate move to hold the position, and of course he was up to the task, um, so there was not much I can do, and uh, I was just trying to focus on the last two games. So the extra pawn didn't really offer any real chances? Yeah, I think um, the problem is it's really hard to defend that C3 pawn, and he just his pieces are very active and they can compensate for the pawn, and at the end, um, I couldn't defend the pawn, so um, yeah, draw is a logical result. And now you're on six points, so a more aggressive approach probably in the last two rounds? Yeah, definitely I will have to um, to choose um, my approach for the last two games, but also it depends on who I'm going to play, so uh, we have to see the pairings tonight. Right, now you mentioned something very interesting about trying to test Maxime in a line which he plays often. So give us some insights on, at your level, when you're preparing against a player like Maxime, how do you decide which approach to take for the opening? Yeah, so Maxime is a very interesting player. Um, most other players, they play a variety of openings, but Maxime, he play only Grunfen against D4 and uh, Nidoff against E4. So in a way, it's easier to predict what he's going to play, but also it's extremely hard to out-prepare him because he knows this opening so well. So um, I, in this game, I just try to, to do something a little less popular, hoping that he would forget his uh, preparation. <laughs> but uh, it didn't work that way. So um, yeah, so it... I mean, if I go really aggressive and try to um, try to go into a very complicated lie, it may he may even out prepare me there, and he may know better than me. So it, there was a risk that I had to take, and I decided um, to play for two result today and try to play it um, safe, but also um, give me some practical chances. And if he defended well, then okay, draw is is fine, and that's what happened. So the approach was safety first? Yeah, for today, yes. All right, well, we look forward uh, to seeing you back in our studio. Good luck for the two games. Thank you very much, Tanya. Thank you.